A Journey Through the Sanctuary, compiled by Shirley Street, read by Wayne T. Street. The subject of the sanctuary and the investigative judgment should be clearly understood by the people of God. All need a knowledge for themselves of the position and work of their great high priest. All need a knowledge for themselves of the position which God designs them to fill. The sanctuary in heaven is the very center of Christ's work in behalf of men. It concerns every soul living upon the earth. It opens to view the plan of redemption, bringing us down to the very close of time and revealing the triumphant issue of the contest between righteousness and sin. It is of the utmost importance that all should thoroughly investigate these subjects and be able to give an answer to everyone that asks them a reason of the hope that is in them. Otherwise, it will be impossible for them to exercise the faith which is essential at this time or to occupy the position which God designs in behalf of men. It concerns every living soul upon the earth. It opens to view the plan of redemption, bringing us down to the very close of time and revealing the triumphant issue of the contest between righteousness and sin. Everything concerning the sanctuary pointed to Jesus, the innocent and perfect lamb slain for our sins. The great plan of redemption as revealed in the closing work for these last days should receive close examination. The scenes connected with the sanctuary above should make such an impression upon the minds and hearts of all that they may be able to impress others. All need to become more intelligent in regard to the work of the atonement which is going on in the sanctuary above. When this great truth is seen and understood, those who hold it will work in harmony with Christ to prepare a people to stand in the great day of God and their efforts will be successful. The intercession of Christ in man's behalf in the sanctuary is as essential to the plan of salvation as was his death upon the cross. By his death, he began the work which after his resurrection, he ascended to complete in heaven. We must by faith enter within the veil whither the forerunner is for us entered. There, the light from the cross of Calvary is reflected. There, we may gain a clearer insight into the mysteries of redemption. The people were settled around the tabernacle and were bound together in a single worship. There was one God, one great sacrifice, one purpose for all, freedom from guilt, and one goal to which they were all headed, the promised land. During his six weeks of quiet communion, the great teacher patiently revealed to Moses phase after phase of his plan for man's salvation and explained how each was to be carried out. To clarify these profound truths, for after generations, he embedded these enacted parables in the lovely and complex representation of the tabernacle. He proposed that this structure should stand in serene isolation at the heart of Israel's encampment. 